Welcome to the Through the Waxing Show. Today's topic is why waxing is the best way to get hairless skin. And I put in parentheses, in my opinion. Obviously, this is always my opinion, but I just want to say it because, you know. Hey, Patricia. Uh, welcome to the Through the Waxing Show. Hey, Welcome to the Blue Waxing Show. So announcement, I'm gonna go into announcements and then do the intro and then we're gonna go into the topic for today. So the first announcement is that if you are looking to do underarm waxing at home and you want a step-by-step -step guide on what you need and a video on how to do it all, I have that available if you click the link in the bio on Instagram at 3B Waxing. It's the second button. You can grab that. And then that is pretty much it for uh, announcements. All pads were sent out today. So all the exfoliating pads were sent out. Hey, um, chill to 2K19. I don't. I know your first name, but I don't have it on top of my head. But welcome to the Boxing Show. Good to see you. Uh, yes, yeah, so pads are all out. I sent them out today. Everything's good. I hope everyone's beginning of the... I got something in my eye, y'all. Um, beginning of the year is great. Today is Founders Day for me. And then it is also... The new moon and it's just a great time right so let's get into the intro and then we're gonna get into to content so welcome to the boo waxing show welcome to the boo waxing show and so you remember welcome to the boo waxing show i am becca a pro waxer skin therapist and licensed esthetician since 2010 i help people remove unwanted hair acne discoloration and ingrowns through full body waxing chemical peels, uh, facials, and products. Hey, uh, with love, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. I have my own product line, which a lot of you already know. Uh, it's the acne and ingrown pads and then the fruit enzyme pads. Uh, there, I have the acne and ingrown pads here. They are good for face and body. They are chemical exfoliants and really great if you have ingrowns bumps acne dark spots all that good stuff helps with all that they have been sold and shipped all over the us the uk canada the uae and trinidad uh let's see i also help estheticians start their own product line start their own salon suite attract clients and improve their waxing technique some things that you may care about that it'll be like, oh, well, I should listen to her. Is that I've been the regional trainer for a large waxing franchise and the lead esthetician at a high end gym in Newport Beach, California. If you want to know when I go live about waxing and you want information sent to your email, join the Wax Lounge. Click the link in the bio and join the Wax Lounge. Every day this month, I've been sending out long emails with information to help you guys with waxing. So I don't know if, if any of you guys have seen that. Hey, um, SW Girl 6, welcome back to the Three Waxing Show. Good to see you. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have been getting those emails and have been finding them helpful, but every day this week you're getting a long email with so much information regarding waxing uh the different themes we're talking about each week everything so you definitely want to get on that list and then there's some things coming up because my birthday is this month as well so there are some things coming up that the email list will be first to know so you definitely want to be on that email list if you're interested in getting waxed or uh you get waxed and you want to improve your waxing results uh you want to know about how exfoliating will help you with waxing somebody wrote on my post my real post today that waxing really hurts them and but they're going to go back i don't know who this person was 
but I'm telling you, you can make it where it doesn't hurt as much. One, if you're not waxing yourself, go to somebody who's really good at what they do. Um, I am really good at what I do. A lot of my clients say, you know, their waxes with me are not that painful. Find somebody who really enjoys what they do and is passionate about waxing. That does help a lot. Um, and then exfoliating. There's a reason I have these exfoliating pads for my clients is because they really do help. Whenever you exfoliate your skin, it helps the hair come out easier and it's gonna be less painful for you. Uh, it also helps with ingrown. So uh, when you're doing that, when you don't have ingrowns, it hurts less. Uh, there's also some breathing methods and stuff. Like if you're my client, I do a lot of other stuff to help, but uh, also consistency. Consistency makes a huge difference on if it's gonna be painful each time you go. For my really sensitive people, you know, there's a certain amount of, of there's like a certain regimen that works really well for those of you who are really sensitive. And if you ever need help with that, you can always do, you know, a call with me and we will talk about it. I know I'm still in the intro, but I wanted to go into that because somebody had posted about it. Uh, if you are following and you want to know information about skincare products, skincare ingredients, it kind of goes with waxing too sometimes because I'll talk about exfoliating and ingredients. Join the lab. And then if you are a professional, so an esthetician, a massage therapist, a nail tech, and you want to know information about clients, like getting more clients, starting your own product line, uh, wholesaling the pads, join Salon T. And so those are the email lists. They're free to join. Click the link in the bio on Instagram at 3B Waxing. Join those and I give out so much information. I'm very excited for 2021. I don't know if you guys have been, you know, working on your goals before the first, but I have and I've been very organized so I can serve you better. Part of part of one of my things is to serve better. Um, it goes along with taking care of myself, but also to serve you guys better. And that is being more organized so I can send out emails consistently with good information, uh, do the show consistently and all that stuff. So Hope you're finding it valuable and helpful let's get into content okay so why would why is waxing the best i'm obviously uh i'm obviously biased towards waxing but that's because i've seen the best results from it and i've not only seen it for myself but i've seen it for the many clients that i have served I think I've served, so in one of the advertising posts, I put 1,500. I've definitely waxed over 1,500 people, but I don't know the actual number. But waxing, I've seen it over and over how it improves people's skin, and it's the better option from a lot of other stuff out there uh, that gets rid of hair. So number one, number one, and this is in contrast to shaving, or yeah, in contrast to shaving or using the little razor on your brows, waxing lasts longer. It really does. So you're grabbing it from the root. And for those of you who've never waxed before and are interested in getting waxed consistently, but you wanna get all as much information as possible, you're one of those people, you need to know that you aren't going to have that much hair once you start waxing. It's going to start thinning out if you are consistent. I know I talked about consistency earlier, but consistency really does matter. My clients who have the best results are very consistent. They come consistently. I know I just said consistent a lot in my sentence. But uh, yeah, so it's going to last longer than shaving. Your shave, especially with your underarms, may last what two days three days and you still may have that five o'clock shadow at, on the first day but with waxing since you're getting it from the root it's taking a while to come back 
Now, this is something that I want to make clear is that your first wax is not always your cleanest wax. I say this often because it's true. Your first wax isn't always your, your cleanest wax because your hair is all in different cycles and you know, it's the first time you're being waxed. So go back to get everything on the same cycle so you can start thinning everything out. But you will notice that you will not have to worry about hair as long. Uh, I did that reel because I don't know if you guys saw any of you saw that reel I did. Do, do you guys know where that reel, the original reel is from? So for those of you who don't know, uh, I did a reel because reels are very popular on Instagram right now. And so they get a lot more engagement. So if you don't really see a lot of my content, then you definitely saw more of my content yesterday because I did a reel. That's how it works with Instagram. Uh, when they come out with something new, they want people to use it. So they'll show it to more people uh, to get people to use it. It's basically their version of TikTok. And so TikTok had a TikTok had a theme going on. I don't know how many of you guys know TikTok. Let me know. Um, or know this whole whole thing that's going on. But on TikTok, the original sound is, uh, you do know that I'm black, right? It's a, um, it's a TikTok. So I thought it would be so clever to make one about waxing. And the last option on the video, so instead of, you do know that I'm black, right? It, um, I had my husband, he did the audio for me to do, you do know that I wax, right? And the last part that I put on the video was, um, how are you not that hairy? And it's been three weeks since your wax, right? You can go way longer with your wax when you, or with your, yeah. You can go way longer not being hairy when you get waxed. So with the legs, if you are constantly shaving, I knew a lady when I was really young, really young, before I was like shaving and I was shaving, but I wasn't like, you know, I was still really young. And she would shave her legs every single day. So if you're a person who shaves them every day or every week, you definitely want to think about waxing because it's going to thin it out. It's going to be a lot easier for you. I went through a time period where I was so consistent with my legs that I did it every three weeks. And now I'm like in a winter mood where I don't feel like waxing or shaving them. And they're hairy for me, but they're, they're thinned out because I've been waxing for so long. So when you are consistent with waxing, not only does it last long in that period of when you wax, but it also thins it out. So later on, you're like, oh, it's thinned out. So it's not even bad when it's hairy. All right. So the number two reason why waxing is the best, in my opinion, is because it also exfoliates your skin. So it's going to remove that dead skin. And when you remove that dead skin, it just looks a lot better. Not only does it help you with if you get ingrown, so if you're really prone to them. Uh, I was prone to them, so that's how I got into waxing. Those are my clients who are prone to them, and they start waxing with me and then using the pads. They're, when I when I first meet someone, they'll buy the pads, and they'll, they'll be kind of like on the fence, they'll believe me, but you know, they gotta see it. And then they'll like message me or something, they'll be like, oh my gosh, you were so right. This helps, yeah. When you wax and exfoliate at home, it really does make a difference. You'll notice a huge difference, but waxing in general exfoliates the skin. I use hard wax on my clients. Uh, I like it better. Hey, Ashley G, welcome welcome back to the Thibu Waxing Show. Good to see you. I like using hard wax on my clients. And it still exfoliates, but it's still gentle on the skin. So we're getting that dead skin, but we're also um, protecting the skin. Because I always like to protect the, the integrity of my client's skin. Hey, Nicole, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Good to see you. So that is number two. Number three is, and I kind of said this already, 
but if you struggle with ingrowns then you want to start waxing that's how I got into it and waxing the reason why it helps with ingrowns and maybe I can explain this better for you is that the hairs get stuck in the skin and so when you can remove that dead skin the hairs are able to come out we'll do the leg example because I've seen a lot of this happen in the salon somebody will come in to get their legs waxed right we'll wax them and again your first wax not always your clean always your cleanest but it'll be a pretty clean wax but then there'll be these hairs that we see that even the wax can't get them right and then if I try to get them I'll have to get them with a, a tweezer because I have to pull it out of the skin just by getting wax we've helped you with your ingrowns and then you go home and you exfoliate your legs I've seen this happen so many times and then you come back and we can get all the hairs because you exfoliate at home and you're getting the exfoliation when you come and get wax that your ingrowns start to go away I have personally dealt with really bad ingrowns I don't deal with them bad anymore because I've done all the stuff to take care of it. I could consistently wax. I'm on top of exfoliating. Even when I'm not, I I just go back to exfoliating and it's fine. So ingrowns. That goes for your face. I get a lot of questions about that. It's like, what do I do about these ingrowns on my face? You need to start waxing because they're getting stuck in your skin. Ideally, it would be great if you had a facial routine, a waxing routine. Like, oh, I get my facials this week. And I get waxing this week. I have clients who will do that. Um, I have one client who we do it all in one time. So if you were with, I don't like to do it all in one session. But, you know, if we find out that your skin doesn't um, have any adverse effects, then we'll do it. But usually I like to do once and then the other. I'm going to take this question and then I'm going to go to the fourth one. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, this is long. Uh, I can't. Because it's long, it won't let me see it all. It stops at what can I do to re reduce. But for those of you who are watching, the question is, I have really bad hormonal problems. I have excessive thick hair on my chin and neck. I have to wax literally every week. Yes. I have clients who do that and they use the pads. Because some people, it's because of hormones. And, you know, there's not, I can't do much of anything about hormones. I'm not a doctor, I'm just an esthetician. But what I can do is teach you how to wax properly. So if you're waxing every week, then you can either go to somebody, and you want somebody who's using hard wax uh, because it's gentler on the skin. And uh, the consistency is good. If you could go every two weeks, that'd be great, but if not, every week. And then learn to do it yourself if you want to if you don't want to go somewhere and do it properly so I, again i can always teach on that i teach people how to wax themselves at home and using the pads a lot of people who have um a hair growth on their face from hormonal reasons they truly benefit from proper wax technique because there's not much you can do about reducing the hair unless you go into like hormonal therapies and stuff like that and that's not my area right i only teach on what i my focus and then uh using the pads to exfoliate i have a client who comes on here all the time and she raves about the pads being great for hormo um hormonal hair growth so hopefully that answers your question because i couldn't see the rest of it fourth fourth one mm -mm 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 -mm. and for those of you who do not know I do wax with me calls I started them because of the pandemic where I teach people how to wax themselves at home because I'm closed right now I'm very strict on my quarantine uh, right now so I'm not even seeing anyone in person but I've been seeing people face to face like this fourth one and I said this already, but I just want to make it uh, 
a known one. The fourth thing that waxing makes waxing the best is it thins out the hair. So when you're going to get waxed by somebody, it's almost like an investment because it's not just a one-time thing like shaving. It really is thinning out the hair over time. So if you do have thick, coarse hair, you know, waxing will thin it out over time. Now, there is a caveat to that with the facial hair because sometimes women, as they get older, as we get older, uh, we get more testosterone and so it seems to be more hair and that's more hormonal. And so you'll have to wax to thin it out. But in general, waxing will thin out the hair. So it's always hormonal if anything's changing with the hair. Like some people will tell me, you know, I started shaving and then it got worse. It grew, got a lot more hair. And what happened was is that you started shaving when there was something hormonal going on with you. So whether you're going through puberty or changing birth controls or something like that. And that's what really um, changed your hair, right? Because uh, shaving won't technically make it start growing more, but it's the hormones behind it. So yeah, those are my four ways to, I mean, not my four ways to, four ways to know that waxing is the best it really is the best it helps you feel confident there's like a whole other reasons like it makes you feel so confident when you are smooth like having a bikini line that's so smooth and you don't have to worry about any stubble and you can just put on like cute underwear or if you're a dancer like um i put on a leotard yesterday because i was just missing my dance life and it just it just looks so good right when you're in the mirror and you're like oh i feel great i feel sexy um, i'm not worried about stubble if you go to the beach or to a pool you're like i'm not worried about hair because i know that it's taken from the root and it's a it really is a freedom and it really helps with your self-confidence especially if you are uh a little insecure about going out there and like oh I don't want any hair to be out I want it to look good waxing is great because you, you you just don't even have to think about it. you're just like I know it looks good I know it I know I'm coming out there and you just feel sexy and you just like that's what I want everyone to feel is like basically I'm gonna pull out the board for those of you who haven't been on the show but last week we talked about talking good to yourself talking good to your body and visualizing how you want your skin to look. And it's important not only to do the, the steps towards increasing or the steps towards improving your skin, but also have visions of how you want to see. It's so funny because I feel like so many things are going about vision. I'm in a class where we did vision boards last night and we talked about vision boards uh, last week and I we made a uh, like three B waxing show vision board about bikini lines and it's so important to talk good about yourself and have a goal of what you want to look like and so we have a bunch of bikini lines on here and you know feel that know how you want to feel and so it's a process because right the technical part of it you have to get waxed consistently uh if you need help with like how often do I need to get waxed, you know, what do I need to do, do, do a wax with me call. We'll talk about it. We'll work on it. But you want to be consistent with it. Keep your your vision nearby. Speak good to yourself. Exfoliate. Moisturize. Uh, lotion up that area. Treat your bikini line, your underarms, whatever part of your body that you are really working on. Treat it like it's the skin on your face or like you know treat it like you're just babying it right i've learned especially during this quarantine it's important to baby your body like i lotion down my body and do all this whole thing but it's important to just be happy 
happy and like just love on yourself that is what it's important because if you love on your skin your skin will love you back it's so true uh so like today no it wasn't today it was yesterday when i was in my leotard i was like let me put some vitamin c on my bikini line so you can get some antioxidants that's what i said to myself and i was like um because honey you looking good i talk to myself anyways like all the time anyways but this is what i was saying to myself and to my bikini line because she's looking great but i she can look better and so and i'm not even showing anyone this is for myself well i have my husband but you know this is for myself and so i said let me get some vitamin c and put some antioxidants on you girl and i was just talking to her but it may sound strange to some but it really does make a difference and um loving on your body and loving yourself is so important it really is it really is so think about getting waxed if you are considering waxing yourself at home get the checklist if you click the link in the bio on instagram there's a checklist there uh why am i blanking out on something sorry there's a checklist that goes into everything you need to wax yourself at home and if you need personal help you can always do a wax with me call i do those uh on tuesdays any questions you have bam 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 we do it on live and you know whatever you need help with and then if you are wanting to wax your underarms and you want like a video guide click the link in the bio it's the second button you can get that so those are the things you can get and yeah you have a wonderful wonderful evening i am going to celebrate founder's day with my sores so have a blessed blessed evening and i will see you tomorrow thank you so happy founder's day thank you so much